Hello again. This is the implementation of the adapter design pattern. Now, the adapter design pattern is going to be the hardest example for me to explain. Let me elaborate. Adapter main. The example of the adapter design pattern is going to be women. Okay? Now, please don't call me sexist because I'm trying to give you the most memorable example and why I have chosen women you know in real life men don't understand women because women, women are complicated human beings and in programming terms I actually mean we have an interface for women okay and this interface has lots of different methods okay it requires lots of implementations just like in real life so you don't understand women because you don't have an adapter, an adaptation. Let's create a blueprint for our women interface. Let's say public Boolean is happy. Okay, this will take a parameter, integer, let's say date. I will explain why. There's going to be a logic behind this method public void of being a mother, maybe. They do a lot of things. Be mother, be wife, do makeup. You're actually getting the feeling of this interface is gonna be, you know, heavy. Do gossip. Now we have the interface. If we try to use this interface inside our class, okay, in real life, you're gonna have lots of method signatures that you have to implement or maybe you can leave them blank like this but still whenever you try to instantiate the women you're gonna end up writing this and this unnecessary code so you can actually write a book about women in our case this is gonna be an adaptation class called women women actually the plural one and this class is going to implement woman doesn't have to have a constructor and <coughs> the implementation all of the method signatures are gonna be here okay now let's let's implement them the adaptive design pattern has two different outcomes first you can create an adaptation of a of an interface and implement the logic so that anyone can use that uh, class that adaptation with ease so you can you are actually simplifying things for users for other users okay let's begin with this happy method I'm gonna check if date equals birthday okay if date is her birthday her birthday she is gonna be happy it's gonna be an instance variable and there will be a set birthday and get birthday okay now attention here we are implementing logic for women so we're gonna need some variables or you know other objects inside this adaptation it's normal it's expected now being a mother is gonna be you know complicated hard maybe a for loop 0 to 4 I will say change diapers okay first thing that comes into my mind or feed or put baby to sleep complain well, they do have the right to complain bug your baby okay that's enough we have implemented logic behind being mother in real life this isn't poor this may be you know thousands but for the sake of simplicity we're gonna leave it for being a wife maybe she can expect her husband to come home with a flower okay okay cool 
we are adapting women, okay? We are understanding women. We are writing the book. And do make up. Let's, for the sake of fun, let's say, ouch, eyeliner poked my eye. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, that's enough. We're gonna leave the gossip method empty. I will explain why. And we have the logic behind is happy, being mother, wife, and being your wife and doing makeup. Now let's use this class. Let's, let's use this uh, adaptation. Because we don't want to in, uh, instantiate the interface, we can use the adaptation. We have created the adaptation so that we can use it, actually. I would say, actually, let's get rid of this. This will be a uh, woman now. Because it's an uh, it's an instance of women class the adaptation. I will say women dot be mother women dot your wife women dot do makeup women do gossip maybe and I will check whether she is happy or not. I will say women dot is happy. And date should be maybe five, okay? I should also give her the birthday because this adaptation needs the birthday to be set. Sorry, I am missing something. Birthday. Let's say five. Is it wrong? Let me check. Set birthday. Still an error. What is that? What is this? Create the method. Where did you create it? Oh, right. Now I have made a mistake. I try to use the interface here. See, this woman is the interface. But I have created the adaptation to get rid of the interface. So I'm not gonna use the interface. I'm gonna use the adapter adaptation the woman the plural uh, singular one sorry okay I have set the birthday I, I'm gonna check if she's happy let's run this code let's see these lines are for being a mother hugging your baby this one is for being a wife this one is doing makeup true is for happy but doing gossip didn't do anything this adaptation didn't know how to gossip, so the gossip method is empty. Okay, that's fine. We can create an adaptation. You can overwrite, implement the methods inside the interface. And you can have some kind of logic depending on the parameters. Okay, this is the first outcome of the adapter design pattern. Carrying out the responsibility of the implementations of the method methods which are uh, defined in the interface. But if you're not happy with the adaptation, maybe you want to change the logic inside here and you're going to need a gossip method. So you can adapt an adaptation. And by that, I mean you can create a class called my woman. Okay. And this class can extend women. Okay, now my woman is also an implementation of women because it's extending the adaptation, the woman class. So if I want to overwrite the gossip method, I don't, I am not gonna uh, call the super because the super is empty. See? So I'm gonna write some logic here, say gossip. About. Okay, gossip about celebrities. Fine. The new adaptation, my woman adaptation, has the implementation of the gossip method. Cool. Also, this uh, this class, my woman adaptation, is gonna change the logic behind is happy method because I'm not happy with just 
uh, this logic if date equals birthday is not enough for me I'm gonna need something like if the get birth sorry super that get birthday okay minus the date actually maybe smaller than six okay I'm gonna set a date I'm gonna set a birthday and I will check if there's a birthday upcoming birthday minus date smaller than six maybe a week she is gonna be happy she is gonna be happy and I have tri uh, changed the logic behind this happy method I could have also changed the date here the variable or the object you know the adaptation could uh, change the nature of these par parameters or variables coming outside the world but for the simplicity we have just changed the logic so I am yes I have called the woman so I'm gonna create a my woman class my woman I will set my woman actually I'm not gonna call all the methods I will say gossip I will say my woman that is happy with five maybe I should write this out I should set my woman that set birthday and it will be eight maybe okay because eight minus five okay three smaller than six yes she will be happy because there's an upcoming birthday now let's see last two lines gossiping about celebrities comes from my woman adaptation and true comes from is happy method the birthday is eight now but the date is five and the logic tells us she is gonna be happy we have adapted an adaptation this is the second outcome we are changing the logic uh, behind you know the user or I don't know other developers that, that don't know what uh, this code is doing because this adaptation is like a book okay I have told you at the beginning now we know how woman works and my woman works okay we have created two adaptations for one interface adapter design pattern is about providing a concrete usable class for a complex object so this was the hardest example for me I hope you liked it I'll see you in the next video thank you